Yo. Hey, I'm gonna call this River Time Review. This is gonna be my my little vlog that I do. I'm gonna come down. I come for a walk on a morning and with with this crazy animal. And I um yeah, I thought I come down to the river, I suppose, because it's flowing, and it it's never, you know what I mean? It's never staying still. It's always moving forward. Oh, it's always moving downstream to somewhere bigger and better. So I thought, you know, it's a good place to come and do a review. Plus there's loads of wildlife around here. There's birds, cows over there on the other, on the other bank. There's sheep in the field. I've just been talking to the farmer. So it's a great early morning walk, great early morning place to come. Um, reason I'm doing this is because I started writing a blog and I send out send out these like motivational emails as well and what I've realized is I'm really really bad at spelling and really I always have been really struggle with putting words together and sentences and things like that so but I can talk I can speak and I think um, YouTube is the way forward for that just to get the message across really so the last blog that I wrote about was like it's, it was titled this is a man's world or is it a woman's world you know is it is it a woman's world and then I explored in the blog I was I was writing about the fact that men today are changing we're changing we're a different breed as like five generations ago three generations ago we were a completely different completely different to what we are now and that's because we're expected now to sort of put our um, masculine side to one masculine tendencies to one side and to be more feminine and to be more thoughtful and, and collective and I, I think this is a, a great thing I think it's a it's a fantastic change it's a powerful change but we still we still live as men so I was I started talking about I started writing about why what that's the change that's happening in society so say three four generations ago my my granddad's they would have been my great granddad and my my granddad they lived in a, an industrial they were industrial man and they like my granddad worked in a mine a coal mine and you know like a male environment and that is dying now and i've worked for a few guys um a few boss type figures who they still they still live in that mentality that you know they're at the top and they, they dictate to the company below them and that that is dying slowly but surely that that age is dying and we're, we're starting to see this new age man evolving and the new age man is like it's about respect and being able to build a rapport with people and building that respect building that rapport but also being able to take the criticism and and when you and when you get the criticism being able to use that constructively and and to move forward with it so embracing the criticism and being respectful to that as well and i think it's moving pretty quick i mean i worked not so long back i've just left the company that i worked with and it was it was like 90 percent female and it was an amazing experience, don't get me wrong, but the dialogue was female. It was it was it was a female dialogue. So when you were when you're talking to the company, when you're getting the motivation and the inspiration from the company leaders, it was it was a female dialogue. And so I I had to change my approach to speaking, my approach to the way that I was messaging people and so that it was more swayed towards this this dialogue that these girls were creating and 
all that happened was I just started being somebody that I'm not because at the end of the day I'm a male and I need to be able to express that but when you're in a group which is like literally 99% female and you're the only male it it's really difficult to to get across what you want you feel quite squashed you be you know I, in fact to put it to put it simply at a company event there was a guy one of the most successful blokes men in the company was on the stage and and one of the females asked him how does it feel to be a man in this business heavily dominated by women and he just went like this it's okay and that says it all like I would have wanted to stand up and go, well, you know, poof, and, and let it all out. But this guy just sort of shrugged and said it's okay because he, he knew, like, he, there's nothing that he could say. So, basically, what I'm getting at is it's good to have a, a dialogue, an equal dialogue. And so, anyway, we left that company, and me and my partner have set up with another company, and we've set up our own little online venture. And what's happened is we've we found that these guys are equal and they like to create an equal dialogue between it doesn't matter what your gender is basically they, they're like oh it does matter we approach each other in a in a, a a different sense to which gender you are but that's the point it's equal and we found that since we joined this company and we've been getting coaching off these people that we've grown as a couple as well and that's simply because we're learning how to work with each other. Like, I know that I have an idea that I suppose it's like the hunter-gatherer side, the, the male side of me. I have an idea and I go and pursue that idea. And then along the way, I have another idea. And guess what? I keep pursuing the original idea, but I go off and I explore this other idea that I've had. And I might have five or six of those side ideas that I go and explore. And, and that's, that's me. Whereas my partner, Emma, she likes to sort everything out into its compartments. She likes to, she likes to ha take an idea and see it through. And if it's a good idea, it needs to be a good idea. She'll just dismiss the bad ideas because she needs to feel secure. She needs to feel safe. She needs to feel like she can work with it. And so we've learned through this new dialogue to be able to say to each other you know I say to her this is my idea she's able to say to me just forget about that at the moment or keep it don't tell me about it I don't need to know about it let's concentrate on this and that has been a massive push forward for us um, well in the business anyway but as a couple as well you know these these things it's life isn't it you learn you learn about each other so I, I truly believe that that there, that's not me telling her, that's not me dictating to her what I want to happen, that's, that's me giving an idea and her deciding whether that idea is relevant or not, and that's teamwork. I'm coming up with the ideas. She's putting them in, she's like making a really clear game plan of how it should work. And it can work. Do you know what I mean? Like, we can work together, there's no need for there to be an imbalance. And, and I think if there is an imbalance, we need, to be, we need to be looking at stopping that. We need to be looking at creating more of a balance, more equality. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling about gen differences in communication and all that and just let you enjoy the river for a bit. It's absolutely beautiful. The lambs are out. And yeah, it's, it's a nice day, it's a good day. Peace and love guys.